Welcome back to Let's Play Mario 3. I, uh, I did not sound enthusiastic on that part. Uh, that is because we are in trouble right now. As you can tell, we are in the basement of the castle. We are sitting in a pool of water, and there is an ominous shadow appearing just below the egg. And Raya is saying, I don't know if I'd say hooray just yet. And there are piles of skulls around us. This does not look good. We are in loads of trouble right now. Ah. Let's see if we can get out of this. I don't know if I'd say hooray just yet. Uh-oh! Oh, this music is so awesome. Doesn't it just remind you of Jaws? <laughs> the Oso Snake. I think that is a reference to Osohe Snake. Probably is short for Osohe Snake. Is what I'm guessing. Haha! <laughs> this is such cool music. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop singing and start attacking. Uh, let's see if I can remember what kind of thief tools work on this. Oh wow, Duster's no longer crying. Well, that's helpful. Uh, can we put it to sleep? Now, if I remember correctly, PK Thunder works rather well. Ah, it didn't work. Slapped with its tail. Ouch! Thank you, Wes. Ah, what? Uh. Okay, I'm gonna use a scary mask then. Let's try that again. Okay, we decreased his offense. 98 damage. Yes! It looks like the Oso Snake is weak against Thunder. That's what I suspected because it's like living in water. Uh. Do we have any bombs? We have a running bomb. Let's use it. Let's use PK Thunder again. Ouch. Yay! Alright, we're not doing too badly. Um, let's see if we can lower its defense as, as well. PK Thunder again. We lowered its defense. Uh, not by much. Oh well. Why are you doing more damage to Raiha than Duster? <laughs> wow. I love how throwing socks occasionally solidifies enemies. That, I don't know how that works. Maybe they... Maybe the snake doesn't like the smell and, and it can't move as a result. That's the only thing I can think of. Ah. Uh. Ah. I don't know why I'm not comboing. Yay! Secret thief art technique. <laughs> Thank you, Wes. You know what? I'll have you heal yourself with a bag of pork chips. Ah. I don't know why I didn't combo to that. Alright. Oh, we don't have enough power points left to pay thunder. Uh. There was sprinting bomb then. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Yikes! Wow! Uh, we have to heal up then. But first let's use a magic gelatin on... on Raiha. Uh, let's have you eat another bag of pork chips. Wes, quit throwing socks! Oh dear. Uh, I'm gonna have you eat a yogurt. And Raiha, you do PK Thunder again. Ah! Not again! Well, it's a good thing we healed when we did. Oh, it disappeared! That was close. Alright! Raiha leveled up! Uh-oh. Grab the egg duster! Grab the egg duster! Now what? Grab the egg duster! Uh-oh! 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 What's happening? What's going on? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! We're getting washed out the drain! We're gonna, like, end up in the ocean! Are we? What happened? What happened? 
Oh my. Oh, oh fuel. Wes? Raiha? Are you alright? Oh my. We got washed all the way down the river. And we get to hear this awesome music again. We are back in Wes's house, I can tell. Oh! You're awake, geezer! Where are we? My house? You and this especially tough girl got washed down the river. Good thing my dad was there, because I would have pretended not to see you if it had been just me. Oh, come on. I see. Thank you, Fuel. That is just wrong. Did you find that moron with us, too? What moron? You mean Duster? It was just you two. You know, for a couple, you sure do have a big age difference. <laughs> oh my gosh. That moron, I mean, Duster, taking his damn merry time. He's in big trouble once I find him. No kidding, right? Unfortunately, he's not going to appear again for quite some time. Ah, uh, it's a shame, really. You are both unconscious. You should get a little more rest. Well, at least we could be assured that the egg is safe with him. Because I think he has it the last time we checked. Don't be dumb. Let's go look for him right now. Uh, okay. I don't know where he is, but... Out of curiosity, can we get another Thunderbomb? Yeah! Thunderbombs! I believe Raiha will be able to keep her inventory because she is going to appear later on. Let's hope she keeps her inventory. Well, look at this. I actually get to control Raiha. I think this is the only part of the game where I actually get to have Raiha first in the party. What do you have to say? Hey, mister. Are you a friend of Duster's? Yeah? I bet you're pretty popular with the girls, huh, mister? Hold on, Al. I think that's a miss, not a mister. <laughs> you mistook Raiha for a he? <laughs> Seriously, I know. I mean, I know she's a tomboy, but what's going on here? Ah! What's going on? Old Man Wes, where's Duster, that scumbucket? Uh... He's the only one I told about the money I hid in the well, and now it's gone. Wait, what? Which means Duster stole it. That was my money. We've already asked a thousand times, where did she get it in the first place? And besides, what is money anyway? Uh, Duster didn't steal that money. I mean, he saw it, but then he put it back. This all sounds too fishy, if you ask me. Oh, it's Flint. We haven't seen him for a while. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Look, Wes and Duster are both thieves. But they never did anything before because we never had anything to steal in our village. Wow. <laughs> but all we know is that they'd steal good stuff like money if they ever saw it. Alright, shut your hell and listen, punk. Wow, Raya, you tell him. Uh, I'm gonna go hide. Who are you? A friend of the thieves? Well, as a matter of fact, I am. I just spent my time with a couple of them. No violence. No violence! I am going to use my PK Thunder on you. Oh, Flint. Oh, my must. Let's just all of us calm down. Picking up a fuss won't help us figure out anything, especially with Duster gone. Yeah, no kidding, right? You just flew into a rage after Mary died. <laughs> you just learned your lesson. The villagers and I believe you. So for now, let's just wait for Duster to come back. Even if we have to wait three years to do so. Duster, you moron. You better come back soon. I bet he's busy trying to hide the egg somewhere again. The mysterious group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures in an almost toy-like fashion has finally commenced its plan to alter the town, the lives, and even the hearts of the people. It seems as if a grand scheme of some sort is hidden behind the actions of the suspicious peddler who has recently arrived. What, you mean that guy with the question marks? And the monkey? However, not everyone is content to sit quietly by as the enemy continues its odious attacks from every angle. Flint, whose family bonds were torn to shreds. Wes and his son Duster, the Thieves of Justice. I love that phrase, the Thieves of Justice. Princess Raya, the mysterious girl who suddenly appeared. Destiny is bringing together those who use their power for good. 
And what has become of Lucas, the crybaby? And what has become of Cormac, the energetic boy, more importantly? We haven't seen him in ages. Ah, <sighs> well, the scrolling text mean, can only mean one thing. Yes, folks, this is the end of the chapter. Ah, which means this episode will be shorter than I originally expected. Yep, we're at the end of the chapter already. Let's save. Yeah, we are at the end of chapter two. Now, the chapter... Okay, now since I have plenty of time left, I'm going to talk a little bit about chapter three. I already mentioned that chapter two was one of my favorite chapters of this game. But I really love chapter three as well. The thing, that, the thing that I really like about Mother 3 vs. Earthbound is that in Earthbound you start off with a main character and you pretty much stick with him for at least the very large part of the beginning of the game. And, you're, and, you, and it seems like you're just thrown into the world all at once and you don't get a lot of chance to explain things and it takes a long time to get used to things. But in this game it starts off very simple, you start off with a very easy character to handle, you don't have to deal with psychic abilities until Raiha comes along, which is in chapter 2, and you get to experiment with different characters, which is what I think chapter 2 was all about originally. And in chapter 3 we will play an entirely different character, so stay tuned for that. And it won't be actually until chapter 4 that we, that we get to have Lucas as our main character, so... I know Lucas is supposed to be the main character of this game, but he's just not going to play a very important role just yet. So just bear with us for now, but chapter 3 is really fun. It does get a little heart-wrenching at points. Like I, like I said before, there is a lot of animal cruelty in this game, and this next chapter is mostly the reason why I say that. <laughs> so. If you love animals, if you don't like to see animals tortured, especially cute little ones, you probably want to take caution while watching the next chapter. Nothing especially bad will happen, it's just you'll see a lot of unnecessary cruelty. It doesn't really bother me that much, but I don't know. I just, I just figured I'd warn you all. Ah, my, I'm just talking on and on and on and on here. <laughs> but... That was chapter two, and I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. This is my first Let's Play, and I sincerely hope I did well, but honestly, looking back at what I did in this Let's Play so far, it's really not so bad. I mean, I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm balancing talking and gameplay perfectly, and not taking time to talk so much about random things like real life stuff. I mean, my, my real life is boring, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm just probably gonna quit talking right now and I'm just going to end the video here because I am so excited about chapter three and I can't wait to start playing it. So I will see you guys later. Stay tuned for part 16 of Let's Play Mother 3.